Number 78. Explain why the pH does not change significantly when a small amount of an acid or a base is added to a solution that contains equal amounts of the acid H3PO4 and a salt of its conjugate base NaH2PO4. Okie dokie. So the first thing we're going to say here is we just have to define some concepts. Uh, they're saying that we're going to be adding a small amount of acid and base. So let's just define what we're going to be adding here. The acid, the only thing that we really care about when we're adding an acid is the proton. So we're going to classify this acid as just an H+. Conversely, a base, the only basic component of strong you know, bases, is the OH-, the hydroxide. So we're basically just going to add a hydronium and a hydroxide to our equal parts of H3PO4 with our conjugate base. Now, they told us that the NaH2PO4 was a salt. So when you're talking about salts, you have to know which component of the salt is the more important one, which has the acid or basic properties. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, I have NaH2PO4, and the split between NaH2PO4, this is a salt, right? This is an ionic compound. We have a metal right? Sodium. So the break is between the, the metal and the rest of the compound. So in this case, we have Na plus and H2PO4 minus. Now, if you came from a strong acid or base, the conjugate that we have here is going to be so weak that it's neutral. Na plus comes from NaOH. NaOH is a strong base, so the conjugate would be so weak that it's classified as neutral. Nobody cares about this component. We only care about this, because the conjugate acid of H2PO4 is the H3PO4. And that's not on our list of six strong acids, so that's why we care only about this portion of NaH2PO4. Now, let's write A... Um, balanced equation, right? We have H3PO4 and we have H2PO4 minus. Now let's just do, we'll say add acid first. Which means that we're adding H plus. Now, remember, you can only have an acid and a base on one side of the equation. No two acids and no two bases. So if this is clearly the acid, right, H plus, which one would be, we be reacting with? We've got to react with the base. And the base is the H2, PO4, because it has one less hydrogen than H3, PO4. So H2, PO4. And since they're weak, we do equilibrium. And remember, if you have an H plus and you have a base, they're just going to hook up with each other, right? And you're going to get the conjugate acid, H3, PO4. Okay, now that's the equation for the add acid. Let's just write the equation now if we're going to add the base. So it's like the, the vice versa of this. So for adding the base, OH, that means that who we're going to hook this up with, right? Oop, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. So who are we going to hook up the OH minus with? Well, if this is the base, we now need to add it with the acid, and that's H3PO4. Okay. Remember, acids always lose a hydrogen. So the 3 would be kicked down to a 2, which is basically the conjugate base. So H2, PO4, minus, plus, the base picks up a hydrogen. So it would be OH2, but we don't write it like that. We just say H2O. Okay, so now we wrote the equations. Now let's just say, why does this pH not significantly change? Well, let's see. We have to have equal amounts of the acid and the base. Now when we're talking about titrating or adding really strong acid or base, we always talk about moles, not molarity. So let's just say we have equal amounts of moles here. So 0. Um, I don't know, 1, 0 moles. 
And maybe I, I really should have wrote that one in blue. So I'll do this one in red. And we have this one, 0 0.10 moles. And now let's just say that I have 0 0.10 moles. Okay. And I write this because they just have to be the same. You could have literally wrote any number, right? One mole, two mole, you know. Maybe, maybe to put it into perspective, maybe we should have used whole numbers, but in chem class, you're going to see decimals, so let's just stick with that. Okay, now they just say that we're going to add a small amount of either the H plus or the OH minus. So it just has to be relative. It just has to be way smaller than 0.1. So let's just say maybe I'm adding 1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles, just a very, very, very small number. Okay. So, what happens is a limiting reagent problem, right? If you're adding a small amount of something, that's basically going to be the limiting reagent. This is going all the way back to when we started stoichiometry. So the idea here is that if you're starting off with a much bigger amount of either the weak acid or the weak base, it's going to gobble up whatever the limiting is. And if you have a small amount of acid, that's always going to be the limiting reagent. So we're going to subtract 1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles, and that's going to gobble this up, right? So that's the same exact thing here. The, 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 the conjugate bases and the acids are going to just eat up the strong base or the strong acid, the one that's, you know, the one that you have such a small amount of. And because of that, you have no more strong acid, and you have no more strong base. What's going to happen is you're going to have only left over your conjugate base, right? Only a little bit has been changed, right? So this is basically 0.1 minus 1 times 10 to the negative fourth. So, I mean, it's roughly 0 0.0999 moles. And on the flip side you're going to be adding that amount that you lost here. So it would be plus 1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles and plus 1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles. So let's see. 0 0.1 plus 1 times 10 to the negative fourth. Yeah, and you get 0 0.1001 moles. 0 0.1001 moles. And look at the difference in the number between what you started with. You started with 0 0.1 all around, and then you only dropped to such a, you know, a small difference. The change isn't really great. It's basically, you know, insignificant. And the same thing for the conjugate acid, right? You started with 0 0.1, and now you're left with 0 0.1001. So... This is why the pHs do not change when you add strong acids or strong bases, because the conjugate system will basically gobble up how many moles of the acid or the base. You just have to have more conjugate, you know, the conjugate, the buffer system, than you have of your strong base or strong acid, because this is the whole idea that you completely get rid of all of the strong acid or strong base. And then the buffer is able to basically balance itself out. And the pH will not change significantly. And that's it. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you all in later lessons. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. We're almost at 20,000 subs. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. And it's all because of you guys. Let's keep working hard. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.